All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to part four of my build of the PI Polonis Polish PI pulse induction detector. We're looking at uh, this portion of the circuit right here, which is essentially the delayed pulse portion of the circuit. Um, so it's it's anchored by this IC which is a, a CD4011 and in the circuit it's uh, used for producing the uh, sample delay as well as the sample pulse so as it's composed it, it's comprised of uh, two parts uh, a couple mono stables and you see these two resistors here that's the part of the first monostable and then these two here of course also associated with, with the capacitors but uh, I've got these first two resistors in the original circuit they were 33k I have now reduced them down to 15k I was trying to um, get the sample delay lessened which I accomplished and I will show you what that looks like on the oscilloscope alright guys so what we see on the screen um, we have the output of the preamp as channel 1 and on channel 2 we have the uh, sample pulse Okay, um, I'm going to switch my probes. I'll show you where the sample delay, what that looks like, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to get onto the output of the preamp. There it is, and show you the sample delay okay channel 1 is the preamp and channel 2 sample delay it is I think it's about uh, 21 and change microseconds so that's what this portion of the circuit looks like and we continue on. So I want to just do a, a quick look at the uh, schematic for the PI Polonis for this portion of the circuit, the sample delay, sample pulse portion. So we're looking at this right here. This is the CD4011. Like I said, it is um, set up as a couple of mono stables you see the first portion here which is the sample delay and then over here is the actual sample pulse so resistor R10 and R11 those are the ones that I changed in those SIP sockets that you saw in the video and as you can see they're originally supposed to be 33k each um, I reduced them down to 15k and I have reduced the sample delay down to just about 21 microseconds so that just gives you maybe a little bit bit better concept of what portion of the circuit I was working on in the video. All right, thanks.